Hello, this is Steve from London Chart Plotters. Um, this is the uh, fourth video in the series. Um, it's really aimed at sort of fishermen, to be honest. Um, it's marking all your fishing spots and being able to go back there whenever you want to. Um, it, it's a combination of using, uh, of really using routes. Um, but you want to leave your little fishing spots on the charts so that when you're out there, you can see where they all are. And if you want to go to one, how to go to that spot from where you are. Okay, hopefully the tablet will lock on, which will just show it's, it's not absolutely necessary. Again, so what I'm going to do, I've got it on a hand because um, I want to go where we're fishing, if you see what I mean. Um, so I'm going to assume we're on the east coast here and find a nice wreck. Oh, there we are. Look, there's a nice wreck there. Or that hole, that would be a good one, look, nice big hole, 10 metres deep, right, so what you do first off is you um, set a waypoint there, right. and we're going to call it um, fish, and we're going to put today's date on it, so uh, just for argument's sake, so it's January. On the symbol, we're going to change it to a fish. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, there is no chart. Don't worry about it being that big because it gets smaller as the charts get smaller. Um, if you see what I mean. So, um, and you can you can make them disappear for a while. So that's your good, that's your good fishing spot that you want. Now you're out there another time, and you want to go there, right? So we'll just assume that. Um, were off of Felix though. Right. So what we've got to do now, I mean that fish will come up every time you open Marine Navigator up. The fish will be there. Um, so we're, also, we're off of Felix though because we don't want to do a long one. Right. Now what we want to do is do a route to our fishing spot isn't it? So we'll go routes and we'll open a new one. Okay, now get the crosshairs, and normally our boat would be there anyway as well, but we'll put the crosshairs where we want to start the route, which is where we are, and you just tap it. Ooh, dear me, it was hard, wasn't it? And then, where's our fishing spot? Over there. Okay, we'll do crosshairs again, tap. We'll miss out that bit. We good boys go over the top of it. Tap, and then you can zoom right in. Look. Tap. Okay. Now you're doing the route to it, so go routes, save as. Put fish to 120. Save. Okay. Now you go to routes and you close it. Just think back to where you were before. And now you, you want to go there, roots, open it, fish, that's where you are, roots, start, follow, boom, right, now, once you hit start, follow, it comes up with all your turning points and a countdown with an ETA um, for getting there, it's based on six knots but it alters and it's actually now going from where we are in the Thames because the tablet's locked on so how far we've got to go to get back to our start point off of Felix though let's put that in there but of course that one will already be there so it will lead you on to the next one um, yeah so the root point bearing total ETA is nothing because we're not moving as soon as we start moving all of the ETAs, that's the ETA to the start point, um, or all of them. Um, and then, of course, when you get there, you, you're zooming in to the right level. You'll be got your screen, and then you'll be coming along that line. Drop your hook, you've got a wreck there as well, as well as the hole. That's got to be a good spot, actually. I think I'll leave it on there. Okay, when you're finished, roots, stop, follow. 
roots. You can close it, you could reverse it if you want it, so we'll close it because we don't want that line on our charts all the time. Uh, and that's basically how you can do it, and that's in there for next time. And you can build them up, or you can actually put them onto a flash drive and um, bring them back another day. Um, so that is that video. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye.